Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. I'm going to show you how to use a new material available from Hairline Dubbin. It's the Vivas Body Quill. As you know, we're big fans of tungsten jig style flies. Very effective. With this body quill, we're going to tie a very slender jig pattern that, using the translucence of that material, allows um, the underbody of thread to show through and give you kind of a cool two-tone fly. What I'm going to do is I've got a jig hook in the vise here with a tungsten bead. This one happens to be a size 16, but you could tie this as big as a 12. I'm going to start with some hot orange thread. I'm going to wrap to the back of the hook. I'm going to tie in some Coq de Leon fibers for tailing. You can adjust those to your personal preference in terms of length. I'm going to go about the length of the hook shank. Then I'm going to wrap all the way forward, tying down those tailing fibers. Trim off my excess. I'm going to take a piece of this body quill, which is like a plasticized type thread with a little binding filament. I'm going to use a golden yellow. What I've done is I've got a piece about 8 inches. I'm going to fold that over my thread like so. And then kind of match it up so I'm, where my fold is about in the middle of that length of thread. And I'm going to tie that down at the front, wrap back to the back, bring my orange thread all the way forward, up behind the bead, and then I'm going to actually just half hitch a couple times and switch to a different bobbin that has a dark brown thread or a rusty brown thread actually. What's cool about this style of fly They've been doing this in Europe for a while now, but you can mix and match different colors of body quills with different colors of threads, different hot spots. I'm going to just tie on that, that darker colored thread behind the bead, wrap most of the way to the back, and then spiral forward so I cover up that orange thread and then maybe work halfway back again, build a little bit of a taper. So now I've got an underbody with the bright orange tag and a rusty brown front and then I've got this yellowish golden yellow body quill. I'll take with my thread up here at the front behind the bead I'll take that body quill now and I'll advance that forward over my underbodies. When I get to the thread at the front I'll tie off a couple of wraps Trim off the excess. And then I'll just put in a little thorax with some dubbing. But you get a cool translucent coating with those body quills, and then you get the two tone thread body underneath. What you can do for your thorax, you know, mess around with different colors. I've had a lot of luck this year doing a small amount of ice dubbing from Hairline first and I'll do something like say a really light pink and just a tiny 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 bit do that first right behind the bead leaving just a little gap and then I'll follow that with a natural dubbing either squirrel or hare dubbing, rabbit dubbing. Put that little bit of natural dubbing in front and do your half hitches or whip finish. I'll just do a few half hitches on this fly. And finish it up. Trim off your excess thread. And there you go. Really cool effect with those body quills and they come in a ton of different colors. They're all translucent, you know, the darker colors like black and dark olive. You'll have a little harder time seeing your, your underbody colors shine through there. 
but um, really get a neat effect. And then as those body quills get wet, moisten this one up a little bit, that even becomes a little more visible, those two-tone underbodies. So you can do some really cool stuff here. I've seen some of this on a couple blog posts from Romania and in a book called Fly Fishing and Fly Tying 2 from the Czech Republic. But now these materials are much more available than they were before and opening up a lot of possibilities for our jig flies. And you don't have to use this technique just on jig flies, but definitely worth checking out. Tie some of these up in various sizes and color schemes and see what works best on your stream or river. Thanks for watching. I'm Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. Check back for more videos coming soon.